Hey, what's going on all? It's Dom here with Still Nice CNC, and today we're redoing the control box and making sure we got proper grounding. I don't have an earth bond grounding system that pumps in about 40 amps, but I do have a PSU and a multimeter, and it's nearly the same thing. So as we turn on the PSU, we're gonna get the volts and the amps, and then we want constant current. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your volts on to about six or 60, it depends on uh, how safe you wanna be for your uh, multimeter. We're gonna test any of these green, yellow, or green cable leads. These are your grounding from the shielding or grounding from the main cabinetry here. So this is what I'm testing. I'm testing this raised ground bar. This is not connected to the metal cabinet. I got the multimeter lead, the power cable, the other end of the multimeter lead, and then the power cable right underneath that. Make sure your system is powered off if you do not have any type of clips and you have to use probes, because if so, you will catch an arc on your equipment. So my PSU is up to 10 amps. We are pumping in exactly 10 amps. We're at 0.5 volts. On the multimeter, we're at 0.09 volts. I ground bond tested my CNC cabinet using a 10 amp DC power supply. The PSU showed a 0.5 volt drop, which equals to about 0.05 ohms of total loop resistance. My multimeter measured only 0.09. 0 0.09 volts at the grounding bar, which is 0 0.009 ohms. That's five to 10 times better than the industrial safety equipment of 0.1 ohms, meaning that the cabinet grounding and shield are bond, shield bond are professionally graded. 